Anjal Johan, Sunil Kumar Palwal, welcome to Spotlight on Connected to India. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. You're playing Paro and Devdas in the iconic musical Devdas. So, in your own words, what should people in Singapore expect? What should the audiences expect? And people who haven't yet bought their tickets expect from Devdas. Paro, let's go with you, and then we go to Devdas. Okay. So, Devdas. Um, I mean, if I talk about Indians, Indians are very much aware of this story. and devdas is a classic love story from india and uh, so for people of singapore even if for the people who don't know about this story i think this is one story that's going to talk about a lot of passion when it comes to love a lot of destruction also when it comes to love so the story is like two sides of the coin it's one side it's you know this this passion and there is this love and on other side there is destruction and these are two sides of the coin and that's how life is good and bad so i think that's what they're going to see it's it's very um, close to real life in terms of the emotion every human being goes through when it comes to love or not being in love or heartbreak uh himachal is uh, india's answer for uh, romeo and juliet um we have all the songs and favorite dialogues um everything all the elements we need in uh, in an a story uh representing indian culture and people going to watch that and uh, be mesmerized by that that all 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 the those elements yeah you see the most overbearing version of devdas we have is shahrukh khan aishwarya rai and madhuri dikshit right so what should people expect in a musical and it's a lot of pressure on both of you to get everything right uh, from the pictures i've seen it looks like an extravaganza so uh, could you describe how will it pan out on the stage please when it comes to the stage production we have uh try to keep the essence of devdas as real as we can plus we have uh, you know a lot of popular songs in it of the movie devdas and there are new yes. curated songs also so i think people are going to relate to those and overall it's it's a lot of entertainment um the story is being told beautifully and uh, the songs are um, in a way embedded in it that it takes the story forward so i think overall um we've tried to match up to the expectations of what people would have when they come to see devdas himanshu when we watch any version of devdas for right from uh, kl saigo saab to dilip kumar saab or shahrukh khan's latest or after that also devdi anurag kashyap what he you know did with uh, you know black com- kind of black comedy uh, i think in our musical we have uh, kept all kind of elements in that you know we didn't focus on one thing like just try to make it you know we also kept focus of uh, international audience so that it's relatable for the uh, international audience and we have toby uh, who's a fantastic director came from uh, you know uh, shakespearean background so he liked this story and he tried to mold it in a way that is connected with uh, everyone right from a child to a, to a person who's stay abroad and um, it, it's going to be a lot of fun great Uh, have you guys performed in Singapore before? No, no we, we haven't. We haven't. You haven't. So, we guys, I must tell you that you're in for a ride because you're performing at the iconic Esplanade Theatres, by the way. And within Esplanade, the the Art Compass would not have could not have picked up a better venue. Theatre itself is amazing. So you're in for a ride. So why has how I have Devdas and Paru remained so popular? The first time the story was told was almost hundred years old, hundred years back. so why have they continued to be so popular what do you think i personally feel devdas and paru's story um i mean if we talk about any love story that way uh is very um it's like that innocent love which i think uh, you know each one of us has felt at some point or the other and it's very very relatable uh for example if i talk about paru you know how a innocent girl you know turns around and becomes a woman with all the responsibilities and you know how her life changes completely and in terms of devdas how a carefree guy not you know he doesn't give a damn about everything he's so chilled out and suddenly that heartbreak changes him to a person whom he's not able to handle himself so i guess um, these are very bit complexities of life which i'm sure some of the element each person is going to relate to and i think that's why it's been so popular i think one more reason it's popular because it doesn't have a very happy ending i think that's that's the difference between devdas and probably a lot of love stories it doesn't have a happy ending, love, yeah. but yeah 
Yeah, so I think uh, Anjali rightly said that is very relate relatable. We all have this Devdas inside us. We all have gone through the you know breakups. We all have gone through the you know when we never stand for for anything. We take things for granted in a relationship. You know, mm. well, who's Devdas? I think he's a kind of person who has everything. all the facilities of life you know good family good education but he destroyed it just for his stubbornness you can say that you know short temper he mm. he couldn't stand for 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 his love and that regret so i think we all go through that circle of life somehow and go on the path of destruction and that's why i think is this story of devdas when people watch it they relate to it somehow how do you you know avoid uh, getting subsumed By the other portrayal which have been done, like your own version, Faroo and Devdas, but you've seen the Shahrukh Khan version, and like you're talking about all the other version, I'm sure you've seen all of them. How did you build? What were the? What was Faroo's one trait that you thought was the most important thing? What 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 was the she had a whole family to herself after marriage but the love remained constant i think that purity of love that was something that i got hooked on to and i think that was my main trigger in everything that no matter what is happening the purity of love should remain throughout the play i think that's what i um, believed in this character for me i think i'm going to tell you out of my experience before this himanshu was doing this play called mughal azam really successful play where i was playing the role of uh salim and i remember when i was preparing for that role i had a lot of pressure because you know greatest actor from indian film industry dilip kumar sahab had played this part at that time you know i realized you know i was trying to just take that pressure and try trying to match up to to, to his level then i realized oh it's not going to work like this way i have to be you know find my uh, you know uh, my strong points or how i can be authentic and real Uh, as much as i i can and the same thing uh, from that experience um uh, i realized you, you ha- i have to be myself you know if i connect with devdas in a way that in from my life experience like i was very stubborn when i was a kid okay and uh, uh very impulsive taking very rash decisions uh, taking things for granted and this is how i started uh, the, the journey of uh, of devdas and uh, somehow I didn't think about it's it's played by K L Sagal, who's from Jammu, and I'm from Jammu, uh, and Dilip Kumar Sahab or Shahrukh Khan. For me, it's not it's my story. It never happened before for me, and it's not going to happen ever after me. So this is how I'm living it right now. Fantastic! Yeah. What a great answer. And yeah, I mean, it's a great reminder that you've also worked in Mughal Azam, which I'm sure is iconic. I'm really looking forward to watching both of you. So, uh, uh, what has been the kind of reactions you? done this in bombay what kind of reactions did you get when you showed your own interpretations of both the characters and what are your first impressions of expecting to perform in singapore yes we did perform this play in mumbai and uh, we opened up uh, this open this play in mumbai and it was a huge success people were blown away with the kind of uh, theater production it was um Of course, acting was one part, but there's a lot of things that goes behind it. We had beautiful sets. We had one of the best person doing the sets for us. We had best of lighting. We had best of makeup team, and everything. And dancers. I must really talk about the dancers, the background dancers that we have. They work so hard, and you know they kind of lift up the show. They they lift up the our energy when we are on stage and dancing. So I think there's so many people who contributed to it and put their heart and soul into it. that the show was was so good and the kind of response that we got from people people because you know devdas is a story that people know about especially in india people know about it people have their certain kind of expectation they know the story everybody knows the story of devdas but they are coming to watch what's what's in it you know what's new in it what's the new flavor added to it so i think we were we were able to justify that 
and uh, if i talk about singapore i think we have uh, made sure that now we are performing for an international audience and there will be you know a uh, multicultural audience there so uh, keeping all that in mind we have uh, tried to make the story as easy to digest for everyone not only indians but for everyone it's been laid in such a way that mm. everybody can understand and still you know they can get the depth of it plus we have amazing songs and dances and i think that really lifts up the spirit of the audience so i think um singapore is going to love us yeah i'm sure before we go to sunil what is the best compliment you've got you know from a member of audience or a celebrity for your portrayal of paro i remember when um, i did the first show and you know after the show the audience really comes up to you to meet you so i have two instances one instance is that one person came to me and he said you know when devdas died and you 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 cried and the scream that you had he said i had goosebumps i could not like i could just see so much of pain and you know that was like a compliment for me because you know you could put across that pain of that female who's going through this this tough moment you know you could put it across to the audience so i think that was one thing that i really like and uh, the second thing that you know that really moved me uh my parents flew in from chandigarh to watch my first show and i remember the audience were like you know they were just i was just surrounded by the audience and my parents are like in the background you know t- trying to catch hold of me and tell me and uh, and i suddenly i just you know i look at them and then i saw you know tears in my father's eyes and you know they were like little you know his little lump so i was i think that was my victory so yeah oh that's beautiful so himanshu we had great shows in mumbai and uh, then our producer mr ashwin girwani he wanted to do all the shows all over the world you know and we f- we we were supposed to come to singapore in 2020 and then we were supposed to go to dubai opera we, we were supposed to go to a lot of places and then covid happened and we couldn't perform anywhere all right and uh, during that uh, covid time also we planned it many times for singapore and other uh, other places and uh, this time we are very excited because Uh, you know Ash- mr ashwin girwani he made sure that we open shows we have world premiere n- not in india but in singapore so yeah. so i think this is going to be very special for us we are coming back to, to on the stage uh, after covid and it's in singapore and we are very very excited especially i think the whole team now oh, that's great um, i also want to hear some of the best compliments you've got for your portrayal people say like you know something you know like you know it, we thought that mr khan's performance was the best they can you know he was the best they have us and now looking at you we are like you know you you performed really well we connected with you so i got a lot of compliments and you know and that was really sweet of people and i, I don't want to focus on that right now i just want to focus on you know upcoming no, shows really amazing can't wait to see it in fact may i request both of you in your own words to do a bit of a tune in and tell people when and when it, when will devdas be coming to singapore and we'll put it out there so we are coming to uh, singapore i think we have shows on uh, 21st to 23rd april so on 21st we have one show 22nd april we have two shows 23rd we have last show so we we request people to please come for the shows uh, you're going to have a lot of fun please come Yeah and I just want to add again what you guys are performing at the iconic Esplanade Theater so I'm sure it'll be a great show and uh, thank you very much for talking to us I'm looking forward to seeing you here and and you know I hope you have a great time performing in Singapore Thank, thank you, you so, so much Himanshu Thank, thank you, you.